what we are doing right now is we got an engine hoist. We're gonna lift the engine up a little bit, maybe tilt it so that we could actually get the oil pan out because our oil drains for the turbos need to go to the pan. Everything we put on and off like 50 times, we gotta pull it off once again. Officially, this side is done, and yeah, if you can see this, there's so much clearance now. Removing the carburetor. Uh, so there you go. Lift the engine. We install this thing right here. Right there. All right. Uh, yeah, once we get that out, we're going to be able to hopefully just teeter this motor into a nice, good position to get that oil pan out. Draw the bung nuts, put it back in. Or it might not work once we pull the motor out. We'll see, I guess. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. So, this has been the messiest project ever. Nearly spill every fluid in the process, but here we go. There you go, there's the oil pan. Oh. Okay, it's been about five hours and uh, this is bad. So, you know, we got the oil pan out. That was done in like an hour. Here's the problem. Uh, a lot of things have happened, a lot of things have broke. Alright, we had to disconnect the fuel line, but this thing should be crazy! Look at that motor! So we pulled the engine from the Chevelle, and oh my god, this is an auction car. For some dumb reason, I bought this car from an auction. I feel like I got a good deal on it, but when you buy an auction car, a lot of things go wrong and I have a laundry list of all the things that went wrong. But I had it shipped to my house and it wouldn't run. So of course you run through all the little maintenance stuff, new spark plug wires, new spark plugs. Each spark plug that was in the engine was a different, there was like an NGK, there was like an AC Delco and there were different sizes, length. It's just such Mickey Mouse work. My job is to basically un Mickey Mouse a lot of this. Yeah, I'm happy we pulled the engine because we can get a little bit of a deeper dive into what is done with this engine. Here's the 400 baby right here. Uh, we have a ton of work to do, needless to say. Check out the engine bay. Since we have the motor out of the car and we've got all this room right now, so I'm gonna make sure the whole engine bay looks like you can eat off of it. I'm gonna make this thing look amazing. It's gonna be immaculate. Yeah. As you can see, we pulled out the T-Bird. Motor is sitting outside the vehicle. It's pretty crazy for the first time. I'm trying now because it was a little bit more difficult than we thought. Okay. Oh my God. We're gonna try to see, can a stock block handle boost? We're not running crazy amounts of boost, but we're gonna run decent amount of low boost on this block, see if it can handle it. If it does, great, mission succeeded. If it doesn't, well, then we've all learned something. So we'll see, does this motor blow up or will it handle well? We're gonna find out. I've sat here for the last 30 minutes and basically scraped all this crap off with a uh, nice little razor blade. We've uh, used a little bit of brake cleaner on a yellow rag right here. Um, and we're just trying to get that mating surface bone dry. Alrighty, we're here now. I'm basically just drilling a hole. Now with the crankshaft, you know, exposed, it's upside down, look right here. You can see, this is the main, main cap right here. That's where we're gonna line up this fitting for maximum pleasure. No, I'm just kidding, a maximum fitment. So basically I'm just drilling this hole. We already drilled one right here. I'm gonna drill the other one right now. Um, and we're able to actually freely spin the motor and see if it hits anything. It doesn't, which is great news. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then we can put this back on, flip it around, plop it right back in the car and bada bing, turbo time. Oh, went a little big on that one. Wanna get all the burrs off. Kinda looks like Frankenstein now. <laughs> Really just to make sure no leaks occur. I am just absolutely covering this, making sure I don't get any in the engine itself. Um, so basically it, just a bunch of gooey stuff. Yeah, basically. Tell me the status. Just bolting the uh, oil pan back on. So we got a brand new gasket, all kinds of RTV, the good old sticky stuff. It's almost ready to go. So just kind of just making sure it's all tight. Got the new little uh, bungy boys right here. That's just gonna go to an a -line, AN line that goes right to the bottom of the turbo for the oil return back to the oiling system. Really pretty simple. It's just kind of crazy how we're like, oh, we're gonna add some AN lines. It's not a big deal. Boom, motor's out of the car now. It's just, it's how these things go sometimes, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it properly and you gotta do it right. 